Okay, after we have the final project picture uh, in place, we're going to go ahead and put in picture one here, picture two, picture three, and picture four. And I want to show you how to do that on this one and let you repeat that process for all the other ones. Uh, right here, I'm going to select this by just double clicking on it, and it's going to open into my table properties. And I want to do this under each individual cell uh, so that this part is done. So make sure you repeat this process for each cell. I'm going to select this as vertical and check that. Uh, make this one, make sure it's top and then make sure the horizontal is set to center as well. And it's going to center among just this cell. So now when I click here, it is centered. Not center of the whole page, but just center of this cell. And that will be a nice display uh, for all of our pictures. Uh, so again, we're going to repeat the same process. We're going to come up here to Image. Uh, we need to find that, that file. So we're going to select Choose File finding our picture one and again this is opening into the images folder because that's the last folder we were into so it makes it pretty convenient that this opens up if it doesn't for you make sure just to navigate to your root website folder then your images folder to find your files so you want to find that first project that you created in GIMP we're going to do picture one is my generic name for it right now uh, and then select open we're going to follow all of the same things. We're going to put in our uh, alternative text here, and we're just going to put this one as uh, picture one period. Uh, just picture one period works for this one. If you want to put in a little bit longer of a description of what your picture is of, that will work for you. And again, make sure you put that period in there. Uh, and then we're going to go over to dimensions. Custom size is going to be the same. We're going to keep these the same. Put them at 175. Uh, as long as you have constraint on it, it should automatically put the height at 105. We're going to skip appearance and go right to link. We're going to do the same thing we did last time. Selecting choose file. Uh, again, don't worry, your images are here, it's just looking for HTML files right now. So you want to switch that uh, down to image files or all files if you don't have images files specifically listed there. Um, but you should. Uh, and then we're going to select our picture one file and hit open. And now this file will be linked to our large one. So we're going to select OK there. And you can see how it centers it and it looks like it's off, but don't worry about this alignment here. That's going to be corrected after we place our content inside this other cell. Uh, so we're going to hit enter and now we're able to put in our description, our text description below. And I'm just going to put in picture one. Uh, I would like for you to put in a better description in the uh, final project here. Uh, I'm going to select that text and again we want to put that in as heading two. Now that it's heading two, we need to link it again. So after I have it highlighted and come up to link, again choose file and uh, switch this to our image files, selecting the same picture, picture one, selecting open and OK. And now we can see here how this is linked. Uh, and we're going to repeat this process for picture two. So I'm going to come over here and double clicking inside there, making sure that this is set vertical and horizontal. This is going to be top. This is going to be center. Selecting OK. Looks like nothing's happening, but don't let that bother you. Uh, it will automatically adjust here in just a second. Uh, we're going to come back up to image. We're going to select choose file. And we're going to select picture two. And this again this is the second picture you created in your uh, GIMP unit. And we're going to select open. Do the same thing. Alt text. I'm going to put in picture two, but I would like you to put in a better description of what you use for that picture in that project. Then under dimensions, we're going to do the same thing. Custom size, 175 and 105. Link. We're going to link back to that original file. Selecting image files here and then putting in the original picture. Uh, and once we do that, we select OK. You can see here all's right with this uh, now, or this row, as they have automatically uh, resized. We're going to hit Enter. We're going to type in picture two. Again, putting in a better description there of that picture uh, when you are completing this project. And then changing this to heading one. And I'm going to link that back to the uh, picture two file. So changing this, image files, picture to open, and selecting OK. So now we have that. And what I'd like you to do, I'm going to be moving on to the next part of the tutorial here. And I want you to go ahead and put your picture three here and your picture four there. Uh, and when I pick up the tutorial again, I'll have those in mind. You don't need to, to watch me go through those steps again. So go ahead and pause the tutorial for uh, the time being. And when we come back, it will have all, we'll have all those images in there. 
and welcome back. Uh, you should have been able to put in your picture three and picture four uh, graphics and links below and text. Uh, before we left, I realized that I had inadvertently formatted the picture two here as an H1 tag. I don't know if you caught that when I was doing it, uh, but it should be a H2 tag. And I thought it'd be good to just show you how to switch that and uh, fix my mistake. So if we come up here from picture two, we can go right up here to the formatting bar. You can see here it even says heading one. I want to switch that heading two. Instantly fixes that problem. Uh, and now we are uh, finished with this page. Um, it, it's a very nice looking page. You can see here I just kind of color colorize the same sample image to, to make it easy for you um, or to, to make it a little easier uh, overall. But with your images in here, this will be a very nice page and provide a good experience experience. If we hit control S to save, that will save this part. We can actually browse this page. Uh, if you come up here and select browse, it will load your um, browser. And I'm going to just move mine over. And you can see here, here's our page. Uh, and you can see it looks very nice. You can't even tell that there's a table used here to format everything. And if we click on our image, you can notice nice, big, uh, crisp image is, is loaded in there. If we click it here, the same thing happens. Uh, and, and on every single one, that is the case with our 201 gallery page. Uh, and, and this concludes the tutorial. Uh, I think we have an impressive photo gallery. Uh, and I think you'll, you'll agree. If you had any problems linking picture three and picture four, please reference uh, the previous part of the tutorial to repeat the steps we did for pictures one and pictures two.